The Medical Patient Assessment and Management Station is designed to test an EMT candidate's ability to systematically examine a patient with a medical complaint and to appropriately manage the conditions found. Candidates can assume there are up to two assisting EMTs that will carry out verbal treatments indicated. Candidates have 10 minutes to complete the station. You'll want to conduct your medical assessment as you would in the field. Communicate with your partner as you conduct this assessment in a systematic manner. State what you're assessing and what care you're providing as you perform the skills so that the examiner can see and hear what you're doing. Use the mnemonic sample to collect important information about the patient's medical history. Candidates at this station will have equipment and supplies necessary to assess and manage a patient with simulated acute illnesses. The medical patient will be moulaged as necessary to help depict the desired condition, such as diaphoresis or pale skin. Equipment and supplies for assessing the medical patient can include a house kit with stethoscope and BP cuff and medical exam gloves as part of the necessary personal protective equipment. Equipment and supplies for treating the patient's condition may include items such as supplemental oxygen, nitroglycerin, or a bronchial inhaler. The main sections of the medical patient assessment and management station involve BSI precautions and scene size up, initial assessment, focused history and physical exam, or rapid medical assessment, ongoing assessment, and managing the patient's medical condition appropriately. Welcome to the Patient Assessment Management Medical Station. This station is designed to test your ability to systematically examine a patient with a medical complaint and to appropriately manage the conditions found. You can assume that you'll have up to two EM EMTs assisting you in carrying out any verbal treatments. You'll have 10 minutes to complete this station. Do you have any questions? No. Are you ready to begin? Yes, sir. Okay. Begin the station by indicating that the proper personal protective equipment is being used. Size up the scene to determine that it is safe. Gather other information about the incident. And consider the need for any additional protection or resources. First thing I'm going to do is I got my BSI PPEs on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, determine if the scene is safe. The scene is safe. The scene is safe, okay. Once at the patient's side, determine the patient's chief complaint and use the initial assessment to identify and manage any immediate life threats. These include the ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation, and any immediate interventions necessary for the patient's condition, such as the administration of oxygen. Okay, I'm going to determine the nature of illness. Uh, patient? This, this patient has difficulty breathing. Difficulty breathing, okay. I'm going to determine the number of patients that I have. One. Okay. Uh, I'm going to consider any additional resources that I might need. Okay. Um, also consider a stabilization of the C-spine. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to determine, um, verbalize my general impression of the patient. Um, I have a male patient with a chief complaint of difficulty breathing. Okay. I'm going to determine the level of consciousness of my patient. I'm going to ask him, hey, hey, are you okay? With the initial assessment complete, the rescuer should perform the focused history and physical exam for this conscious patient. This phase of the assessment includes establishing a baseline set of vital signs, interviewing the patient, and investigating any problem areas identified as part of the initial assessment and focused history. Use the mnemonic SAMPLE to gather important information about the patient's history. SAMPLE stands for signs and symptoms the patient is experiencing, allergies, particularly to medications, medications, including prescription and over-the-counter medications, past medical history, particularly involving similar episodes in the past, last oral intake, including food and beverages, and any events leading up to this problem. What seems to be going on? Uh, I have trouble breathing. You're having trouble breathing? Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously my patient is conscious and alert. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and assess my patient's airway. Um, obviously he is a patent airway since he is talking to me. I'm going to assess my patient's breathing. And while I'm going to do that, I'm going to listen for lung sounds. I'm going to have a patient take a, deep, take a deep breath for me, sir. 
Okay. You take another one? Okay. Another one? Okay. And one more. Okay. Uh, with this patient, I'm hearing bilateral wheezing in all four lobes of the patient's lungs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the patient on some oxygen. I'm going to put him on 15 liters on a non breather mask. And while I'm getting this set up, I'm going to ask my patient some, some questions. Um, are you allergic to any kind of medications? No. no. Are you taking any medications? Yeah, albuterol. Albuterol? Okay. Um, what kind of medical history do you have? Asthma. You have a history of asthma? Anything else? No. Okay, what was the last thing that you ate? Some pizza. You had some pizza? Okay, what were you doing when this happened? I was uh, watching TV. You were watching TV? Mm -hmm. Okay, has this ever happened to you before? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this mask on you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, just go ahead and take some deep breaths for me. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a set of vital signs on you, okay? I'm going to check your blood pressure and your pulse and stuff, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Let me see your arm real quick. Okay, so 54 over 96. And I'm going to check your pulse, okay? Check your pulse. Okay, the pulse is present. As part of the focused history and physical exam, the rescuer should evaluate any pain the victim describes by using the letters OPQRST. These letters stand for onset which refers to the point the problem first started. Provoking factors, which refers to anything that seems to bring on the problem or make it better or worse. Quality, which refers to a description of the pain, such as sharp, dull, stabbing, squeezing. Radiation, which refers to any additional areas where the pain may be present, such as chest pain that radiates into the shoulder or jaw. Severity, which refers to a pain scale typically 1 to 10, with 1 being normal and 10 being the worst pain imaginable. And time, which refers to items such as whether the pain has been constant or intermittent and if it has occurred on other occasions. With information gathered and a closer inspection of any affected area conducted, the rescuer should verbalize and perform any appropriate treatment for the patient. This would include obtaining medical direction as needed, making patient transport decisions, and conducting a detailed physical exam if warranted. The ongoing assessment enables the rescuer to repeat the initial assessment, vital signs, and focused assessment regarding the patient complaint. It also enables the rescuer to check to see how the interventions performed so far are working. At this time, we're going to initiate transport. We're going to package the patient, um, put him in the back of the ambulance, and do our ongoing assessment over out to the hospital. Okay. To the closest facility. Okay. Are you finished? Yes, sir. This completes the patient assessment management medical station. Okay. Thank you. With the scenario complete, the examiner checks the candidate's performance against the critical criteria for the station. The critical criteria for this station that would have resulted in failure were failing to take or verbalize the use of body substance isolation precautions, failing to determine scene safety before approaching the patient, failing to obtain medical direction or to verbalize standing orders for medical interventions, failing to provide a high concentration of oxygen, failing to find or manage problems associated with the airway, breathing, hemorrhage, or shock, failing to differentiate the need for transport from the need for continued assessment at the scene, 
failing to assess the airway, breathing, and circulation before performing a detailed physical examination, failing to ask questions about the present illness, and administering a dangerous or inappropriate intervention. Remember to verbalize scene safety in BSI. Take your time and walk through sample, step by step. Remember that oxygen should come before any medication. And if you find a life-threatening problem, fix it right away.